Greetings, fellow cyber dogs and fellow Minecrafters and fellow mine squatches all over the world. This is Delacaba with Delacaba Presents Let's Play Minecraft 1710 the, and the Squatchcraft server where we are playing Terra Firmacraft. Now, the last time that, uh, that we were together, um, we had just got done making some pots and you'll, I'll show you that if I put this pot in my hotbar here and I scroll to it and I right click, I've got four little places where I can store stuff. And so now, if I want, I can toss those bones in there and those seeds, for instance, and maybe uh, two of our ceramic bowls. It won't, oh, it won't fit? Okay, never mind. Um, let's see. Throw some, let's throw our extra clay in there, and that's a great thing to do with that. And then we can shift right click to place that down. Let's take our other pot and right click it to open it. Let's see what shall we put in there. Let's put uh, our thatch, the native copper nugget we found as well as the native platinum and our extra, no, not our extra segment of walls. We want to keep that here. Our golden rod, we'll put that in there. Right now, this is mostly about, um, this is uh, mostly about getting us the room we need in our inventory to do some things so let's see here if you'll remember uh, what we did is we had made this vessel and uh, had gone taken carried it down we had filled it with water strapped it to our back and carried it up here and set it down so now we got lots of water here to refill our jug we'll just reseal that and it always gives us our date that that it was sealed on um, now in addition to to that We've got our pots here for storage, and we've got our water jugs. We've also, unfortunately, got a lot of rain, which means there are going to be mobs. And, of course, what I wanted to do was to go and pan for more minerals here. Let's just get a quick peek outside and see how bad it is. You can see the rain has put out uh, this torch, and it looks like the sun is about to go down, actually. Well, so I guess it's time for us to uh, see. Nope, we don't have any tool or any stone to make tools, so we're gonna have to. We used it all for for the for the wall, so we've got to get ourselves some rocks so that we can renew our tools because we kind of used them all up. So let's just. Oh man! Oh man! Hee hee hee! I keep forgetting this is the cherry tree. It looks like the blossoms have now fallen which means it's working on the fruit, which is just fantastic. I love that, that we are living next to, a, you know, it, it, I think it's a cherry tree. It could be practically anything. Um, I'm going to leave these tomatoes growing up here so that we don't uh, end up wasting them. Right now we've got a little bit of uh, seaweed, a little bit of kelp to munch on, and that's good enough. We've got our water jugs. That'll keep us hydrated. We just really got to gather up some stones so we can renew our tools. And we got to do it without getting jumped by a zombie or a skelly. So we just got to really keep our eyes peeled. Um, you know, I, I thought about making these like really kind of super focused episodes. Oh, in this episode we're super focused on this, that, or the other. And I'd rather just kind of do this organically because the, the tech and things will develop naturally as we move step by step and rather than try to artificially hustle it along I want it to move at about the same pace that it would remember this is where we came and dug our clay um, I probably will start using my map again here very soon but at this point I just wanted to uh, you know not use a map and just be very, very organic and and get kind of a very authentic feel about about going out and exploring and and working on stuff you know the map is it makes everything so much easier to track and having to do this forces me to learn the lay of the land very quickly so that i can find my way to and from without having to re refer to the map every 10 seconds all right well i think we probably got enough stones to renew our tools we got yeah yeah we should be good and we got about 24 sticks but and let's renew our tools. So let's review. We've got an axe. So that's good. And uh, there's a secondary axe. Our shovel is looking pretty beat. We do have one completely usable hammer. So 
let's see here we're going to just get back on this so let's make ourselves well we're still doing good actually with with a knife so we're actually in much better shape for tools than I thought Whew. This, I told you this seed was, was going to be a very, very important source, source of nutrients for us. Alright, well, I, I would really like to dig just a little more gravel and pan just a little bit longer here. I'd like us to see just a touch more copper. Now, what you get is based on the area. So if you dig gravel in one area and you go and pan it in another area, it, it doesn't change anything. Gravel, where are you? Gravel. Because ah, there's pretty much any minute here it's gonna tell us that that we've we've you know worked overworked it. Oh, I it's let me take the gravel from right there. That's fantastic. I didn't know it'd let me do that. Like I say gravel produces. Come on. There we go. Native copper. Well, heck, there there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Each one of those is 10 units of copper. It's going to take us about 200 units to make our first tools. And this is an important discovery that we can dig down to and then drop some, some gravel down there. And I think it's actually pulling from the gravel beneath it as well. I'm just... There you go. Seems overworked. Okay, time for us to make our way back up top. That's great. We got three more native copper. And I'm going to continue to pan off camera. Um, so that I can continue to work towards this copper. And you guys don't have to be bored out of your minds watching me pan. But I just wanted to show you guys how it worked. And it's too dark now for us to be chasing rocks and stuff so off camera i'm going to gather a bunch more stones and finish our little wall around um i am oh gosh i'm glad we didn't walk into here into a bunch of skellies because it's dark outside they had preferable places but let's get it lit up remember holding a torch and right click you light everything back up but um oops we gotta hold on to one of those for just this reason but there we go look at that three more native copper and one more native platinum hi guys i'm here with just a brief update um, I have been panning for gold and I've managed so far to come, I mean, panning for copper so far after working about, I don't know, half a dozen different locations, um, on the beach, I've come up with a good method that works for me for panning, um, as well as, uh, managing to come up with 21, uh, native copper so far, which means 210 units. I believe it takes, some things take 100 units, some things take 200 units. So it's in my best interest to continue panning. But uh, I ended up getting caught with it being dark outside. I was uh, cutting some wood and doing some stuff. And so I'm just sitting here making glass. And I just wanted to show you guys that um, as I sit here and, you know, feed wood into my into my cooking fire uh, and put sand in, it makes me glass. And, of course, if I can get six of these, then I can do the traditional, you know, two rows of, of blocks to get a bunch of, of panes. So I went out and I panned out probably 15 positions and in the process we came out pretty good. Let's get back to our normal view and take a look here. By right clicking on our jug you can see there's 16, 16, and 1 so that's 33. But I hear the sound, the evil, evil sound of a freaking zombie outside We've got wall almost all the way around, so we're fairly safe. And he'd have to get aggroed to see us through here, so we should be pretty much invisible. But, so what that means is that's 33 uh, pieces of native copper, which is 330 units. Now with 330 units, we could potentially cast two tools if they're the right tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our clay. And we're just going to move our jug inside here. And what we're going to do now is set about the process of creating the molds that we need 
and you know you think to yourself okay well what's the very first tool that we want to cast in metal and most people would probably think oh it's a it's a pick or or something of the sort but in actuality what we want is we want a saw now to make a saw first thing to do is to clear the the um, bits of clay that on the diagonal okay and then we're going to take out those so now we've created that zigzag on the other side we're going to do the very same thing now the very last thing we're going to do is take out the very center one here on the bottom and there we go that is a clay saw mold we're actually going to make several molds here but um, it's the saw that we're going to pour first now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click here I think I just messed this up. Yep, I just messed that up. I was the wrong height. So one, two, three, and then down here below, there we go. That's a clay pick mold. I'm going to just clear a line right down the middle like this, and that is a chisel mold. I am going to, as long as I got the clay, might as well make the molds. I'm going to, once again, go right down the center like this, the same way I did before. And again, I'm going to start to clear it on both sides, but you'll see when I get down here, where I've still got one that I haven't cleared, it'll give us a sword mold. And that's about as much room as I have right now for molds. But that's four molds, and that's what I wanted. Because we're going to be firing two pits. We're going to be firing a pit that has our ceramic vessel with our, our native copper in it. And we're going to be firing a pit at the same time that has our molds. And that way they should finish right around the same time and we should be able to immediately pour our saw. Now, once we've poured our saw, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to take this raw wood and finally cut it into lumber. Oh, guess what? You know what that means. Daytime. Um, I would prefer actually to make my second thing that I pour either a sword or a mace so that we can properly defend ourselves but I'll live we'll figure it out as we go so we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing we did before we're gonna do two pits we've got to of course move move some things out and gee it's time time to eat again already wow okay well let's put that there and move these what we're doing here is we're getting these molds down where we can get to them. We also have to make sure that our ceramic jug is down in our hot bar. Right? But first we're going to eat some more kelp. But I'll be happy to get a couple of basic things done here because right now we are living on kelp and that's no fun at all. Alright, so we go to our mold, shift and right click in one corner and just do that in each corner with one of the molds and before you know it we'll have all four of them in the ground. Come on, there we go. And now our pot that has our copper in it, we're going to drop it in and with the same thing. Now we're going to take and, and just convert our, our uh, thatch blocks to hay. And we're going to make sure that we've got also some wood available to us, of course. And we're going to do like we did before. It'll take eight hay to fill the hole. And eight hay over here to fill this hole. And then it's going to take eight of our raw wood to to fill the hole the same way. And they go in the hole small instead of big, which is kind of weird, but hey, it works and that's what matters. Now, we've got our fire starter here, and if it fails on us, well, we'll make another one. But as we know, if we, if we put them at an angle like this and we ignite one, it should ignite the next one in sequence. But sometimes our fire starter fails. Oh, there it goes. All right. So they have fired off at the same time, and it's time to let them burn. And when they are done burning, we, we should have our molds, and we should have our molten copper. And at that point, we will be all good. We should be able to pour our first tools. In the meantime, I'm going to continue cutting trees here on the top of the hill. That's what I've been doing, basically. I've also got to probably go and, you know, I'll go and gather some of our tomatoes. We've been we've been eating a lot of sea veg vegetables. I think it's time for us to switch up a little bit on our diet. So 
All right, so guys, we're at about 12 minutes here, so pretty quickly we should be seeing the results of our fire. Oops, I just put that torch out. That's what you can do, of course, is right-click to put a torch out. I think I just stopped hearing our big fire sounds. Like that torch, let's get out here quick. Are you done? Oh, buddy, it's done. All right. Oh, <laughs> Uh, our fence is good. Our fence is too good. Gee, many crimers. Okay. Come on. Down over here. We got to get to it before it cools. Though it will allow our uh, our molds to cool a little bit. We'll have to make some adjustments here. But, all right. So, first things first, we're going to bust these. Come on. Break the damn thing. Stop being fussy with me. We gotta toss something out. Here we go. That's junk. Get rid of it. All right. And dirt, junk. Get rid of it. All right. Ugh. Stop being a pain in my butt. Okay. Really. I mean, now you're starting to just plain make me upset here. Get the hell out of my life. I am doing something really important here. All right. Now. Boom. There it is. 330 units. First things first, the saw, we drop it in, it'll fill. Boom. All right, next thing I want to fill is my chisel. All right. Boom. And the next thing I want to fill is my pick. We're not going to have enough to completely fill it, I think. Yep. Oh, we. Hey, look at that. We did. All right. Thirty units. We'll throw the uh, chip. The the um. Was that the sword mold in there? We'll, we get just a little more native copper, and we'll be able to do the sword. All right. So. Uh, so <laughs> oh, dude, we had enough. All right. Well, let's uh, circle back around. Like I said, we're gonna have to fix that real quick, but we'll have what we need to fix that in just a moment here. Let's go on inside. Yes, indeed, do. Big deal, people. All right, so let's uh, first right-click this pot, and let's just stick the gravel. Well, no, let's hold on to the gravel. Let's stick uh, the clay and the thatch in there for now, just to get it out of our inventory. Um, here we go. So E, what we do is we take the, the pick mold and we drop it in here and that get, we lose the mold but we get the pick here's our saw blade here's our chisel and unfortunately our sword mold is not quite full All right. but now we put our stick here and there is our pick and there is our saw Oh, and there, my friends, is our chisel, and that's the one I'm so pleased about. Having that chisel, oh, does it change some things for us. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. All right, so here we go. We have a pick and a saw and all that stuff going on. Now, it's like, well, okay, that's great, Dula, but what does it mean? Well, what it means is we can, for instance, take some of these lovely chestnut logs, we'll take two of them, for instance, and put them there, and we put the saw here, and over here we get chestnut lumber. Now, we are going to take the copper saw and put it back here. We're going to take this chestnut lumber, and we are going to form it like so. And it is going to give us a door. Isn't that magnificent? Now, we got one more thing we're going to do here. It's going to give us a chest. So, first things first. Da -ba -dum, da -da 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 -da. We're just going to break this crap right here. Hello, crap. You are hereby broken. We have a door. Oh, yes, indeed. Do we have a door. All right. Now, um, we are going to place this chest right here. And get this stuff out of our inventory that we can. So the extra ceramic bowls will go in there. Our hoe does not... Um, our sapling can go in there, our sand, our arrows while we're waiting to make a bow. Um, what else can go in there that we got? Uh, the thatch can go, 
and if we wanted to our our chisel could also go this hammer that's damaged we're just gonna get rid of this old lighter oh it's so nice to get some stuff out of our inventory the the copper one so we don't lose track of that now these larger tools we actually have to uh, those we, we we have to um, put on a tool rack and we don't have a tool rack made right now I'm just gonna drop that there and suddenly look at all this room we've got in our inventory we have enough room in our inventory <coughs> to, to set up a couple of javelins and um, I mean wow we're, we're just in so much better shape than we were just a short time ago and we can get a little more native copper now by by using the gold panning method again but what I wanted to do is, is I was building my wood pile in here and I wanted to show you guys how we build a wood pile. Now if I right click this, you see, I can just add wood to it. But uh, to stack up, shift, right click. There we go and then start a wood pile and if I right click it again, there's my interface. I just dump that wood in there. No big deal. Okay, but oh, it is so good just so brilliantly good right now to be us there we go get that out of there and I'm not worried about this board in fact we'll take this board and we'll just stick it in the chest and there we go guys now we have got some really interesting stuff to look at we do we do really interesting stuff but we are at 20 minutes which means we're out of time but guess what when we come back next time we are going to, number one, go out and get some uh, a clear demonstration of what we can do now that we have a chisel to add to our hammer We've, and have our pick and have our saw. We're about to upgrade. All right. In fact, I will show you one upgrade right now before I go. Tell you what. Let's, uh, let's grab some of this wood here. We'll put our saw and that wood. You can put it below or above. Grab that, pull our saw back. We're going to go like this. And that, my friends, is a wooden barrel. And having four of them is not at all excessive because they are storage for food. They are storage for water. Put him there and put him there. And, oh, my goodness. This is going to be awesome because we're going to be able to take uh, one of these barrels down and fill it. And then I think we will keep one of them in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we'll keep one of them in here. Why don't we just set it right there for now? As you can see, it has the same kind of interface as the other stuff does. But there you go. Gosh, what what a great day. So much accomplished. Look at that. We got a door. And soon we're going to have a gate. My friends, we will have a gate. In fact, if I, off the top of my head, I can't remember the recipe. I can't remember if, wow, it's this. No, it's not that. Maybe it's the opposite of that. Maybe that goes there. Let's just get these here. I might, maybe, it, maybe it's done with planks. I don't know, but I'm going to fiddle around until I remember it because I want to have a gate in our wall and then we have real live protection. Oh my gosh, I mean, I mean, stop and think about where we started. Swimming through the ocean, having to spend the night in the water to keep from dying and darn near drowning to make our tools to we're ready. I mean, we've got metal tools now from here. We can build a proper house. We can get set up to do all kinds of things, but... Okay, thank you for joining me, Delacaba, for Delacaba Presents. Let's play Minecraft 1.7.10 on the Squatchcraft server, which is, of course, currently running the Terra Firma Craft mod, and we are making so much progress, and hopefully you guys are following along and learning how to use this mod and realizing it's not as complicated or as possible as it originally looks. But when we come back next time, we will be filling a barrel with water. We will be doing some running around and fiddling with chisels and things. It's going to be epic. But until then, I would like to give you 
a squatch craft high five with a copper saw in your face. I'm out of here. Peace.